Hello Internet Allies, Pop Rob here again, taking over YouTube. <laughs> so today I'm joined by two of my favourite ever Disney characters and I'm so glad that they're here, Woody and Buzz Lightyear. So guys, thank you very much for joining me today. It's an absolute pleasure partner. It's always fun to make new friends. It really is, yeah. So today I really wanted to talk to you guys about us pop figures and whether or not we are toys or collectibles. And to be honest, I think you guys are pretty much experts on the subject. <laughs> I mean, think of all the adventures you've had. Hmm, I guess you could say that, yes. I think both Woody and I have changed and learned so much on these adventures. Although sometimes wouldn't really mind the rest, to be honest. Trekking to the other side of town to find Woody when he was stolen by the chicken man was very, very tiring indeed. Oh my gosh, yes, I remember that, Buzz. I'm so glad you did rescue me, though. Otherwise, I'd probably still be in Japan with Stinky Pete. To be honest though, only being seen as a collectible does sound kinda of boring. Yes it does, but at least you're not as likely to break. I remember how scared you were when your arm ripped. Remember when your arm broke too after flying through Sid's window because you thought you were a toy? <laughs> Good times. Looking back, I really was a sad strange little man, wasn't I? But having my arm broke off wasn't nearly as bad as the torture that was sunny side. So I suppose the advantage of being a collectible then is remaining in mint condition, as well as like holding value of course as well. Well yeah, but I suppose something I've learned on these adventures is that life for us toys won't be nearly as fun and exciting, and as long as people are careful, playtime's always a fun time. Yes, I mean I love this idea of getting the Funko Pops involved with your videos, Pop Rob. In some ways, even that's treating us like toys and you experiencing playing time with us. I'm glad you guys feel that way, and yeah, I agree, I think having pop figures on my YouTube channel is always a fun time. It's a pleasure to have you both on the show. And even though I don't have the boxes you came in anymore, I'm not planning on selling you for profit like I was going to. I'm here to stay as long as you want. Uh, thank you for making us feel so welcome, Rob. Yeah, I think at the end of the day, whatever your owner decides to do with their Funko Pops, that's fine. Some people probably do just want a cool collection, and others might want to play with them as toys. Yes, and a select few like you, Rob. You might have more creative ideas to do with them. As long as they don't turn out like Sid's creation, that's fine by me. Hey, those toys helped us escape from Sid. I hear he's quite happy as a garbage man now, though. Yeah, I suppose in a strange way he actually helped us get home. Interesting how people change like that. Yeah, I suppose it is interesting when they become a better person. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for being on the show. Even though you are terrible at doing impressions of us, it was really fun being on your channel again, Rob. Well, yeah, I know I'm terrible at doing impressions of pretty much anybody except for myself, but, you know, main thing is just having a bit of fun, really, to be honest. <laughs> Yay. So thank you very much, guys, you internet allies, for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And for more Pop Rob adventures with my pop friends, please click on subscribe. Okay, guys, that's it from me. Until next time, Team Rob blasting up again. I hope you're having a wonderful day, whatever you end up doing. See ya. Bye.